What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Protego and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a lens test of the Ingenue Easy 2 15 to 40 Super 35 zoom lens. Now I'm super excited to test this thing out. I love this lens and I've used it on a couple projects myself and I'm super excited to show you some of the tests that we've done, checking if it's parfocal, looking at the flaring, breathing, bokeh, edge distortion, sharpness, as well as checking the close focus and some flaring. Super excited, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with our breathing test looking at 15 millimeters. What we're gonna do here is rack to close focus and then all the way to infinity, which as you can see as we rack to that, we're not really getting any breathing with this lens, which is sort of the zooming in and out on the edges. So if you really look towards the sides, you can see if that breathing is taking effect and with this lens, it's definitely not. But normally you see this with longer focal length. So we're also gonna do it at the 40 millimeters. We're gonna to go to close focus and then go all the way out to infinity and then back to our close focus. And again, look on those edges to see if it's zooming in and out. You can see the lens moving a little bit and most of that's just from us bumping the lens while it was on the tripod. Next up, we're gonna look at our bokeh test. First at 15 millimeters, going from a T2, so wide open on this lens, all the way down to a T22. And if you look at the out of focus areas in the background, you can see we're getting a really nice, pleasing look. Where these different stops are, we're at a T2 here, an F4, 5, 6, 8, 11, 16, 22, and then opening all the way back up to a T2. We're gonna do the same exact test on the 40 millimeter, so on the telephoto end of this lens, going all the way down to a T22, back wide open to a T2. And you can look, you get some really nice bokeh in the background, really circular, basically throughout the entire aperture range. Again, going through these different apertures and then all the way down to a T22 and opening back up. Next up, we're gonna look at edge distortion and sharpness. Now this being a wider lens at 15 millimeters, I'm expecting to see a little bit of distortion on the edges. As you can see, as my face gets closer to those sides, you can see it start to stretch out a little bit and you're getting a little bit of that sort of pin cushioning in the center at this 15 millimeters, going from both sides and back to the center. And now we're gonna jump into the 40 millimeters and see how that looks. Now at the 40 millimeters, you're not really seeing much of that distortion at all, and it's staying sharp across the entire frame, as well as on the 15 millimeters, which kept that sharpness all the way to those edges, even though you had a little bit of uh, that stretching distortion. Next test, and one of my favorites to do, is the flaring test. And for this, we're just gonna turn on a light at 15 millimeters and kind of move it around so you can see what the flares do in the elements of this lens. We'll bump up that light so you see a little bit brighter here. And you can see we're starting to get some really cool flares. We're getting that sort of blue magenta green cast around the light and we're seeing a lot of the elements in there which looks really really nice at this 15 millimeters now we're going to back up and go to 40 millimeters and we're going to do the exact same thing so start with a lower light which isn't really giving off much of a flare and then we're going to bump it up to a brighter level and as you can see you're seeing those purple and magentas there's greens in there now a lot of those different elements that are kind of spread out across the frame and it looks really really nice really smooth and not too sharp Next up, we're gonna look at the close focus distance. And since this is a zoom lens, we're gonna go from 15 millimeters all the way out to 40 millimeters. And we're gonna zoom in and out. So we're at two feet for our close focus. Next up, because this is a zoom lens, we're gonna look and see if the lens is parfocal, which means it keeps the focus plane the same as you zoom in and out. And as we do these zoom tests from 40 millimeters out to 15 millimeters and back into 40 millimeters, you can see it's keeping that sharpness across that whole zoom range. So there you have it. That is the test of the Ingenue Easy 2 15 to 40. If you guys have any questions about this lens or you want to try it out for yourself, there's going to be links in the description down below. If you guys want to check out some of the other lens tests, because we've done a ton of zooms as well as primes, I'm going to throw a link to all the playlists at the end of this video and I'll throw a link right up here. If you guys enjoyed this one and you want to see more just like it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.